search continues for 11 people who were on a drilling platform when it exploded. The deep water horizon is now burning and listing about 40 miles off the coast of Louisiana. This spill would eclipse the Exxon Valdez disaster in Alaska back in 1989. As long as the oil is flowing down here in the Gulf, this will simply keep growing and growing and growing, and they have no idea where the end will be. It's one of the first oil spills where enough resources have been put aside to study it for 10 years after the spill. Why are so many dolphins in the Gulf of Mexico losing their young? They're settling down just a little bit. Why are so many pregnancies failing in the wake of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill? Woo! I'm actually using DNA barcoding to look at gut contents of unidentifiable fish. I guess I'm a fish detective. We're looking at sites that had different amounts of oil contamination during the spill to determine whether there are differences in the composition of the communities of animals that live in sediments. This is really the first step uh, in making the marine snow. When we started this, we didn't know it was going to work as well as it has worked. Finding out which microbes are responsible for breaking down oil in the environment is going to be critical for understanding how to deal with oil spills as they inevitably will happen in the future. We're trying to build systems that could mimic what happens in the ocean. We have the ability to produce the same conditions in this laboratory that are in the deep sea at the blowout. You know, it's like sitting on the floor of the ocean and uh, watching the droplets and bubbles uh, that are uh, rising under these extreme conditions. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, what is that? It's a sperm whale. Oh, oh wow! Gorgeous. Holy cow! Wow! There are many things about the marine mammals, and especially the deep diving marine mammals of the northern Gulf of Mexico, that we didn't know prior to the spill. There'll be two ships, three planes, and they need to be coordinated. The purpose of our cruise here is to look at how oil might spread in a future oil spill. Small craft advisory in effect. We're going to get bounced around a little bit. Let's go! 2.30! This is a new area that was never explored before. Our research group studies the cardiac impacts of oil on fish, especially looking at the heart. I measure metrics of cardiovascular function to look at how the heart performs before oil exposure and after oil exposure. We have some evidence that after fish have been exposed to oil, their sense of smell is diminished. We're learning a lot more about what happened to the oil, how much damage did it do, and its lingering effects on the environment. We've got a big fish, big six gill. I bet she's a thousand pounds at least. There we go. This is what we live for, what we work for, all the time spent behind the computer. Biopsy. We only do that really so we can get out here. Look at her, she's gonna swim right off. It's really exciting to see how all the pieces come together, where all these different people are involved and all these, all these components. You wanna make decisions from an informed viewpoint. You want to know what the truth is. What was the impact of the spill? This story is going to play out for many years to really understand what was the long-term impact of the spill. I'm Matt Damon, coming soon on Journey to Planet Earth. Dispatches from the Gulf.